guest tonight is a multi-platinum selling recording artist whose new album is called Rolling Papers 2. Please welcome Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> Welcome to the show. What's up, dude? <laughs> this is the second time. So, the, you, 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 I met you backstage now. Yeah. And I got high just meeting you. That's awesome. And I'm not joking, this is the second time. There was one time I was flying out of LA and you were ahead of me in the TSA line. Okay. And you had to like take everything off. You had like hoodies and all that, and you were yeah. like taking it all off. And I'm standing behind you. Yeah. And it smelled like every Snoop Dogg album. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I remember on that, I was like, oh, I'm high. And this is like the second time. Is this like, you, you do this everywhere you go? You inspire yeah, people? Yeah, well, I want people to get, <laughs> I want you to get stoned for right. free. You know what I'm I saying? Like exactly. I like so that. It's, I'm the homie, you know right. what I mean? Humanitarian. Yeah. That's who Wiz Khalifa <laughs> is. <laughs> uh, let, let, before, before we get into the weed, let's talk about the album, though. Uh, yeah. Rolling Papers 2. Um, 25 songs on the album. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a lot of songs. Is that something you always planned? Is why did you want to have 25 songs on the album? Um, I've been working on this album for like three, close to four years. Right. And early in the process, I asked my fans, like, should I make it a double album or not? And they all told me that I should make it a double album. So it was always my intention to release a lot of music. Right. I just had to figure out a way to make it flow and a way to, you know, put it all together. But yeah, I definitely wanted to give people a full course meal. Right, and when, when like when you, is this like weed talk now? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Why well, just ate a turkey burger? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you announced the album, right? You, you, you had the release date on Instagram and everything, and you had a video of you bowling saying, I'm good at everything. Yeah, yeah. That's what... Yeah. Are you a better rapper or bowler? Well, I think I'm a better rapper than a bowler because I've got better rap stats, but I haven't had a perfect bowling game yet. Okay, So I'm okay. almost there. Oh, but you good, though. Oh, yeah. My high score is like 280-something. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Have, you got, have you got your own bowling shoes? I got shoes, ball, we got shirts, we got a team. It's lit. <laughs> and do you bowl high? Stoned? Yeah. I no, I genuinely just want to know. I'm like. You don't want to see me bowl sober. Oh, oh, yeah. so like your talent comes from the. From okay. The pot? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's, been, it's been seven years since your, your first studio album, Rolling Papers. Why is it taking so long? Uh, well, I've just been growing, growing pot. <laughs> but uh, for real, for real, like I have a really extensive catalog. Right. It's really, really long. So I've been just, you know, satisfying everybody on every. I'm with you, right? You know what I mean? And now I'm back with another album where it's like, okay, let's let's get back to and then create another 10, 15 years of legacy. And people think you're joking about growing pot, but mm -hmm. uh, you you are really big into the legalization of weed. Absolutely. You have a business, Khalifa Kush. Yes, sir. Right? Um, how How is the weed business going? Is it as booming as people say it is? Absolutely. It's really good, and it's, <laughs> it's super cool because um, people are not as afraid of pot as they used to be. Right. So it's like they, they ingest it in different ways. They eat it, it's cream, it's like CBD where they've taken the THC, which got you stoned. <laughs> they, took that, they took that out. <laughs> and now you can just enjoy the medicinal effects right. of it as well. So you have a choice. Have you found like people reacting differently? Because I mean, like, like you say, people used to have this idea of like rappers and weed, it was mm -hmm. like this thing, or, or you know, like it was like the hippies that mm -hmm. smoked the right. weed. Have you like met people who've changed, like you've seen a perception Absolutely, change? Absolutely, man, and it's crazy because these are people who probably not never thought that they could change their mind about right. it. But just like you said, it's it's a totally different look. And now getting stoned is more like on the low. It's more business people. Um, you'll see people hitting G pens and doing edibles at parties, like really upscale parties and things like that. So it's like a glass of wine now. Oh, I like that. Yeah. You, you, would you? So would I you have recommend some wine in the back? Yeah, would you? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> as a father, as a father... <laughs> as, a, as a dad, would you let your kid smoke weed? When he gets to the legal age, absolutely. Oh, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. Does he know you smoke weed? Absolutely. <laughs> how, do, how does he know? Like It's you... hard not to know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you, before I let you go, I wanted to talk to you about um, your body. Yeah. The um, no, this this became a big thing online. You know, mm. Wiz Khalifa was always known for being like this scraggly dude, like you were really tall, six mm. foot four, I yeah. think, really really skinny. Mm. We'd always see with your top off, and then one day. There's a picture of you on the internet, and it looked like someone had photoshopped buffness onto you. <laughs> no, but you like you started working out. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put on what, 30 pounds? 30 pounds, absolutely. You look like you work out too, man. No, I just eat. <laughs> you kind of like no, this in that you, suit, but though, how man. But how did you get 30 pounds on you? What did you like? What did I, you do, and how did you just get into working out? I joined a gym in LA. It's called Unbreakable. Right. They put me on a meal plan and diet and all of that stuff, and they really got me to a point where I could maintain a, a solid weight and then, you know, learn about my body and things like that. And I started training Muay Thai as well, which is uh, Thailand kickboxing. Right, right, but right. there's plenty of forms of it. Everybody has different. But it's like, um, you know, those two, the combination together, I've been doing it for a year. And that's the cool thing about the internet is uh, people don't pay attention to anything. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's under the radar, and right. like, one day, I'm like, you know what I mean? So it was cool, man. I'm, I'm just happy that everybody's happy for me. And it's a lifestyle thing, so it's something that I'm gonna do, like, for the rest of my life. So, the new album is out. Uh, are we gonna wait another seven years for the next one? <laughs> do we know? Is it, like, is it gonna be Khalifa Kush all the way and then an album, or uh, do you see yourself on the road writing something new? I see myself making a whole lot of music. I have a label, Taylor Gang, and right. I have a lot of artists that I focus on as well. Chevy Woods just put out a project called 81. We just signed Skate. Uh, we got a bunch of other people who's been working on music. Burner, Tukey. We got producers like TM and things like that. So just as long as the music is getting out there, it doesn't even matter if it's one of my albums. Like, just as long as people get stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling Papers 2 is available now. And the Days and Confused or the Days and Blaze Tour kicks yeah, off yeah, July yeah. 21st. Where's Khalifa, everybody? <laughs>